Welcome to all the mini enthusiasts. Okay, as you can see, uh, we've put the subframe in place so we can weld in the new support brackets uh, above here um, and the new flooring. But um, I have a friend, Max, who who's, has around 60 minis. Yeah, unbelievable. 60 different minis. Oh, 60 different, 60 minis of different models, vans, countrymen, pickups and so on. And for, he's had them 30 or 30 odd years, some of these cars, so he's a real guru. In the manual it shows that you should check that this, um, that this subframe is mounted correctly. I mean obviously it's tightened up against the heel board and the heel board is what's going to dictate whether it's right or wrong. Um, and obviously one of the best ways to do this is if you're not doing a rear subframe is check it through from the radius arms or check across the tyres whatever but because we're putting the, all the new all the boot in new I want to double check everything so what we've done is you might see uh, here there are little sponges with a little dot in them and the way it's recommended in the British Leyland or the Austin or, or Rover book is to take a, a, a centre weight and, and take a reference point yeah, on both sides and then mark them and same here and this is done from, this is done from the front bolt here this is this is what's recommended in the book I mean this might be a bit of overkill I'll just I'll just try and stop it for a second but you can see it's showing that center point but you have to make sure that the car is absolutely on flat ground and the car is 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 straight or is flat to to the uh, to whatever ground you got it on obviously we've got it on a ramp so it's a different story um, and because I had to put a piece in the middle and support it to try and make it work anyway we did the measurements and if you look now and the way it's done is is it's it's basically cross-sectional so to give you an idea what we're looking at this is actually the measurements that I've got but if you look at it you've got a front subframe I'll just do them square, well, not very really square but and what, the way it's done normally is you take these market points here is what it shows in the book and the same here and here and then what you do is you you go from corner to corner from corner to corner or from corner to corner you can do many, I mean this is what they do to set the cars up in the first place uh, but this is just a way of double checking and I've checked now and we are exactly 2.3, two, two oh, sorry, oh, oh, there you go, a bit better, it's exactly 2.3 metres to the centre, two, 2 metres and 3 centimetres and on the other side it's exactly the same uh, it's, and it's exactly the same distance from, this, from where we're measuring from at the front to here which is uh, 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 two point. Uh, I, I can't remember exactly what it is now, but it, it, I've got to measure that. Uh, one is six. One. Uh, the reference point was one one meter sixty seven point nine to here, and two meters twelve point three, and it's within half a half a half a millimeter. I mean, pff, you're not going to get much more accurate than that. I mean the bottom line with this is is it's just to make sure it's it's in the right place because the the biggest problem with minis is if the radius arm bushes are worn then that's where all your problems going to be anyway that's where the, where the crabbing's going to come from but I mine are all re uh, um, I've got all new um, all all the bushes have been all new bushes in it new shafts they've all been reamed out uh, with a, with a specialised tool so they should be lovely and stiff and, and 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 absolutely accurate so I'm expecting when I put the wheels back on this eventually that they're absolutely spot on but if there's wear here on this radius arm you know there's a bracket comes here if this if this pivot point is bad it doesn't really matter anyway you're gonna get shit loads of wear okay um, just one other thing I'm putting a high low um, suspension kit front and back and and as you can see this is the this is the high low system and just just to give you I'll show you when I do a later video I'll, I'll show you but basically the way this high low kit works is is this this um, 
nut here, the distance between I'll just try and tighten it by hand. The distance between here and the and the and the, the, the stainless steel, if that is one millimeter in between there and the nut, the back of the nut, that's six millimeters in ride height. So if you've got two millimeters here, you've got twelve meter twelve millimeter movement or, or ride height. And that's 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 an approximation of, of what it is. So the nice thing about this is if the suspension cones are weak or stronger or whatever or the radius arms are not accurate you can actually get the right you know you'll always find even if you put a brand new subframe on and everything you can sometimes find that there's a bit of difference in the in the wheel arch height or wherever or the ride height but with these high low kits you can adjust it just by doing a quarter of a turn or one one flat on that can give you enough to get the ride height absolutely perfect and basically all you're doing is changing this rod, this rod for for the um, for the trumpet arm, and then obviously the rubber cone is going on the end there, which you can see is a brand new one. And that just goes on the end. So it's the same thing, except that it's got an adjustable part on it, which is quite a clever idea. Anyway, I hope that's of interest. Um, uh, it's a lot of work in putting these subframes on and this is why it's so important when you do the heel board if you put a new heel board in one of these it really needs to be accurate or you're going to have lots of trouble you're just going to rip the wheels off the back i mean not not literally rip them off but they'll be they'll wear so quickly that it'll cost you more in wheel in tires than it will in, in fuel anyway that's it so far so tomorrow the subframe will come back off all the welding will be finished up we'll uh, put the under seal, under shield bit of body shuts on it, then paint it and then put the subframe up and the radius arms for, for, for the last time. Anyway, thanks for watching in. I hope that's, that, that's of some use for you, but this is the way it's done in the book. In the BMC or the, or the uh, Morris Mini book, this is how it is actually checked in the factory from subframe to subframe. Anyway, bye for now. Thanks for watching in and uh, if you like them, please subscribe.